Mom, where are you right now? We're getting ready to meet up right now. No way. It's already time for that. Why didn't you tell me earlier to get ready to go there? This is why I'm always saying you're terrible at planning and should learn to actually do things on time. You're the only person that ever says that about me. Compared to your skills, your little sister Martha is always doing everything right. Honestly, I shouldn't even be comparing her to you, considering she is just so amazing. I guess so. Now, how about you tell me where you're at? Right now, I'm with Martha, going shopping. You've gone out shopping? Martha has taken me out to get me something with her first paycheck. She really is such a loving and caring child, isn't she? I don't ever remember you doing anything like this for me when you got your first paycheck. Well, if you want me to remind you, I went and took both you and Dad out for dinner with my first paycheck. Did you really? Anyway, none of that matters right now, Mom. Right now, we're all meeting up. Well, I'm not going to make it. What? You're not? What are you talking about, Mom? Your daughter is going to get married, and you're not going to come and see her fiancé's parents? How could you do something like that to me? I told you a while back about how this would be happening today and where we'd be meeting at, right? Well, something that's impossible for me to get to is just not happening. I'm with your sister shopping right now, and I can't just leave her. What? So you're just going to cancel on us then? My fiancé has made sure to get all his family here to see you. And his parents especially are very busy people, so it took a lot of effort for him to get them here today. Your dad is going there, right? Tell me why you didn't even come with him when he said it was time to leave. Because I already made plans with your sister, and we plan to spend all day at the shopping mall, so I wasn't able to make it out to whatever you have planned. So you're actually not coming today? Well, I'm having too much fun with Martha now. I would never give all this fun I'm having with my super cute little girl today for anything. Am I not your cute little girl as well, though? What are you talking about, Esther? You fell far from the tree and are nothing like she is. I can't believe that the person I call my mother would say something like that about me right now. Well, you're not cute at all. Compared to you, Martha's like a little kitten just waiting to be played with. <laughs> I know you've been saying things like that about her all this time, and that she's always been your priority when it's come to literally everything. But come on now, Mom, I get it. You don't have to keep telling me how much cuter she is compared to me. By the way, shouldn't Martha be working today? Working? How can you call yourself her older sister if you have no idea what she's been going on with her? What? What do you mean by that? Oh, she works on the weekdays and has the weekends off. How come you didn't already know that? Wait, but she told me that she had work today and that's why she couldn't come out to meet with my fiancé and his family. Is that right? So you're telling me that was a lie in order to get out of coming today? Well, I'm sure she'd want to lie in order to evade that mess. You really think anyone wants to be part of what will be one of the most insignificant marriages on the planet? I know I don't want to be, so of course she's thought the same. Are you kidding me? Both myself and Martha are busy right now, and that means we really don't have the time to be thinking about you anymore. Are we done here? I have always felt that you never seemed to care all too much about what was going on with me, even though I'm your daughter. But to think you'd go this far? If you're going to have that wedding, then you'd better have it overseas or something. Overseas? Why? Because then I might actually be willing to go there for you. Of course, you'd still have to pay for me to come out there, though. Both myself and Martha would come out to see your wedding and turn our time overseas into our little vacation as well. We are planning to have the wedding in the States, though. 
Well, then, it better be gorgeous, or else we're not going. I'm going out of my way to go to a wedding like yours, so it better be fancy enough for myself to be there. All right? Why do you think we have to listen to what you want our wedding to be like when this is my fiancé's and mine? Do you want me coming or not? What the heck are you going on about, Mom? If that wedding isn't the way I want it, then I'm not going. What do you think you're doing staying away from your own daughter's wedding, though? Good point. I'll ask my older sister to go in my place. How's that sound? You're talking about Aunt Vicky? The woman told me she'd stay single forever. <laughs> so she has to have a lot of time on her hands, right? <laughs> Why are all the oldest daughters at families like this? All of them are so useless and insignificant that the world might be better off without them. <laughs> I hope you'll apologize to all of us one day, Mom. I'm sure right now, she's even got nothing on her schedule. How about you call her and ask that she come to see your fiancé's family? Do you really want me to do something like that? You would really want me to call Aunt Vicky and have her come in your place? I don't care, to be honest with you. I don't care about you. <laughs> what the hell? Why would you even say something like that? Because that's just how I feel about you. And now that you're aware, I'm going back to spending my day with Martha. You go ahead and do whatever it is you want without us. I'll let your dad know about this as well. Hold on a sec. Mom! Esther, you were meeting with your fiancé's family yesterday. Is your fiancé good looking at all? Where is he from and what does he do? Have you taken any pictures with him yet? Martha, you had the day off work yesterday, huh? Oh, did I not tell you that? I happen to work a job that has the weekends off. It's your average 9 to 5 kind of job after all. But the pay is pretty bad there and I'm having to do all these things that I don't like, so I'm thinking of quitting it really soon. Already? Yesterday, I spoke with mom about it, and she went ahead and told me that if I wanted to quit my job, I could do that and go right back home to her and dad. I'm thinking of doing that here soon, for real. Have you talked with dad yet about going back to their house, though? Well, dad's never really around the house much, so why would he care? And since mom is there all the time, I think she's the one that gets the final word. That's kind of just the ATM now, right? So that's how you're going to talk about dad now? Wait, wait, wait. Before we get to that, let's talk about yesterday. If you knew that I'd asked you all to come meet with my fiancé and his family, why didn't you come? Well, you never told me where to meet you at all. That might have to do with the fact that when I had invited you the first time, you said you would work that day and wouldn't be able to make it. Is that right? I must have looked at my calendar wrong or something. My bad. <laughs> You're bad? Now tell me what your fiancé is like. How about you come and see him at my wedding and you'll find out. Please. Then I can introduce him to you and everything. Uh, when's the wedding? We haven't settled on an exact date yet, but we're thinking in about four more months. Wait, that late? Well, we had been wondering for a while if we even wanted to have a wedding at all. But then finally, after some talking yesterday, we all agreed that it would be worth it. So we're looking for a place to have it at right now. Well, if it's that far away still, I'm not sure what my schedule will be like yet, so I can't really say anything yet. When we have a date, I'll make sure to tell you right away. Just make sure that in order to be at my wedding, to write that down on your schedule before anything else pops up. Is there any reason for me to do something like that though? Ah, is your wedding going to be overseas or something? We plan to have it in the States. Oh, what the heck. 
I was thinking that if you had it overseas, then I'd be able to go on vacation using your money. Ugh. At least that's what I was thinking until you just told me you plan to have it in the US. Boring. You really are just like mom. Mom said all this as well? How funny. <laughs> I knew mom and I were like two peas in a pod. <laughs> Two identical looking peas at that. <laughs> and as you probably aware, mom has always loved me way more than she ever cared about you, right? It's like she's blinded by the love she has for me. Seems that way. And because of that, my past is filled with some really terrible memories. Terrible memories? Oh, don't be so dramatic, Esther. <laughs> Dramatic? All throughout both middle and high school, Mom would only ever get me clothes from the secondhand thrift stores. Yet when you went through middle and high school, she took you out to get all the latest fashion. Now that you mention if she was always going into Facebook Marketplace as well to get your clothing and stuff, and half the time it was already stained. Uh huh. And when it came to me wanting to go to college, my mom said I was only allowed to go to the local community college. But when it came to you, she said you could go anywhere you wanted and that she'd pay for all of it. Did you want to go to an actual university or something? You should have asked dad to help you with the tuition and all that then if that's where you were looking to go. Well, at the time I was going into college, Dad was away for a while due to work, and I couldn't really ask him for any help. All of that time, I had to deal with Mom and just hope that she didn't hate me too much to not let me go to college at all or get myself a dorm room. I think you're being too dramatic about all that. In my case, I was able to do whatever I wanted and get whatever I wanted when Dad was gone. That's because you're Martha. The day you were born, I wasn't given any more new clothing and mom didn't even bother to get me any more toys. I'd end up getting the leftovers from people in our neighborhood or from our cousins. There were even some things that mom got for you and you wore time and time again that she'd later give to me when you grew tired of wearing it. Well, that's wonderful considering I have a perfect sense of fashion. <laughs> that is not the problem, Martha. I don't even want to talk about this right now. I really just want for you and mom to come to my wedding and see my fiance and his family, please. You both already skipped out on seeing them yesterday, so please just make time for the wedding when I tell you the date. All right, all right, I'll think about it with mom. If I'm able to go, then I'll go. The wedding will most likely be on either Saturday or Sunday, so you won't have to worry about work either. I'm not sure about that yet. By the time, I might have myself a different job. That's if I quit the job I have now, right? Just know that when I have the date, I'll let you know about it so you can write it down. Please go and do that for me. Hey Esther, I'm going to go ahead and throw away all your things that are in your room. What? Throw away all my things? What are you going on about, Mom? Martha went and quit her job and will be coming home now, so I'm cleaning the house up for her right now. All those things in your room aren't necessary to you, right? Are you talking about all of those books and albums I have in there still? That's the stuff. Since Martha will be home now, I was thinking of taking your room and combining it with Martha's so that she has more space. Then she can live a bit more freely now that she's an adult. And as for part of the your old room, I'd like to turn it into a walk-in closet for her so she can store all her nice clothing. Hold on a second. So you're redoing the whole second floor of the house then? That house's second floor? That's going to take a lot of money to do, right? Is dad all right with something like that? As long as I tell him it's for Martha, he'll be fine with it. So, can I toss all this stuff? Would that be wrong of me to do? I will come and grab it all really soon here, so please leave it alone for me. 
make sure to come get it all today. I have work today, and after work, I need to go handle some things for the wedding. I can't make it there today. No, you come get it all today if you really want everything. Come on now, Mom. If you don't come and get it all before tonight, it's all going to the trash. Tomorrow is trash day, so I'd like it all to the curb before the truck comes. Hold on a sec. I plan to use a lot of those photos I have in the albums for my wedding, all right? Do not throw those all away. Nobody is going to even come to your wedding, so who cares about all these pictures you have? These pictures would all be going in the front of the wedding hall, right? For people to come and look at and see history of both of you and your fiancé. Well, nobody cares about you, so you'll be fine without the pictures. <laughs> people only want to see Martha. I just called Dad and told him to make sure to grab those photos and books for me. You called your dad just then? I realized that you weren't going to listen to me anymore, so I had to talk to him. You really are the worst. It's because you do things like that that I don't want to go to your wedding. What? So you really don't want to come to my wedding? Jesus. I want all your crap out of the room right now so it's ready for when Martha gets here. Hurry up and grab all your garbage right now! I've already warned you once and I won't do it again. Hold your horses, please. Mom, what did you just mean by you don't want to come to my wedding? Are you really not going to come then? I've already told you the date and place for it, though. I am much better off only thinking of Martha as my daughter now. Are you being serious, Mom? Well, of course I am. I have no idea why I was given such bad luck giving birth to a woman like you first. I get that you like her more than me and think she's just the cutest, but I really never thought you'd go as far as to say things like that to me. Well, now I get it. I get what you really think of me. I'm so sorry for forcing you to be my mom all this time. So you're finally coming around to realizing just how little you mean to me? Oh, well, it's about dang time. Hopefully, that's going to make you a little bit more modest and stop you from talking to me all the time. Oh, I don't want to talk to someone who is nowhere as cute as their little sister. <laughs> Hawaii is the best. Hawaii? You're in Hawaii right now? That's right. Now that I think about it, today is your wedding day, right? <laughs> well, today I've taken Martha with me on a little excursion. So we both won't be able to make it to your wedding. What about Martha's job? How is she able to go with you when she has work? Martha has been out of work for a long time now ever since she quit her last job, so she's using her time off now to recharge. To recharge? This is her first time off to relax a little bit and recharge her batteries so that she can do even better next time. That's why I use some of the money from your dad to pay for this trip. Ah, it's also my way of saying thank you for her for buying me all those things with her first paycheck. Is that so? This excursion with Martha is far more important than being with you. <laughs> I would much rather make these wonderful memories here, so count the two of us out of my ugly daughter's wedding. <laughs> I am not your daughter anymore, though. What? What are you talking about, Esther? Oh, could this mean you're getting a little upset now that the fact is I won't be coming? I have no reason to be upset over that. I'm just being honest. Honest about what? About how I'm not your daughter and you're not my mother. I mean, you had told me before that you were so unlucky to have me as your daughter, right? I did say that. That pretty much cemented the fact that you didn't need me anymore, right? You'd be better off without me as your daughter, right? You have the right idea. Therefore, I came to the conclusion that if I'm not going to be your daughter, then you're not going to be my mom. Meaning I no longer have a mother. Wait, are you basically saying that you're cutting ties to me or something now? Right on the mark. Uh, 
Have you forgotten how thankful you should be for me, though, after all those years I gave having to raise you? I actually resent all those years of having to live under your care, so please don't think I'd feel any thanks for you. You really are such a terrible person. This is exactly the reason why I've never wanted to go to that wedding of yours. Well, don't worry, because the wedding already happened last week. Huh? You already had the wedding? In the end, you never gave me a yes or a no on whether or not you'd come to the wedding, right? Martha also began to evade my questions towards her, so I decided that it'd be okay to change the date. It's not like either of you wanted to come anyway, so I thought it wouldn't really matter for either of you in the end. Is that right? Well, you're right. I'm glad neither of us had to end up going to that waste of a time wedding. That's too bad, actually. Because we had the wedding overseas like you had been wanting. Excuse me? That picture you just took and sent to me a second ago? In the background, you can see a really majestic looking chapel, right? That's the place. That's where my fiancé and I had the wedding. Wait a minute. You had your wedding at a place as gorgeous as that? In your place, I made sure to invite Aunt Vicky. And she joined Dad in coming out to act as my parents during the whole thing. Of course, I paid for them all to be here as my family and guests. And considering that both Dad and Aunt Vicky have been doing so much for me, I made sure to get them both first-class seats on the flight over. You hold it right there. Why did you not invite me out there but instead invited my older sister? Well, because back in the day, when you'd only give me secondhand stained-up clothing, Aunt Vicky would hear about it and take me with her to go shopping. Ever since you decided you only cared about Martha, Aunt Vicky made sure to prioritize me so that I didn't get left out. To me, the person that resembled my mother the most was her. With your money, you booked them first class tickets to Hawaii? That is freaking unfair and mean of you. Why did you never tell me about your wedding? The actual reason we had to change the date for our wedding like that was because of my fiance's parents. Both of his parents happened to run a company, and since they had this major meeting in Japan on the day of the date we'd chosen before, we decided to move the wedding one week earlier. That way, we'd all go out to Hawaii, and then after that, they could continue to fly over to Japan and wouldn't have to hop around too much. They both have a company? Uh, and they have to go to Japan for a meeting? <laughs> That's right. You didn't even come to meet them four months ago. All because you never cared about me, right? So there was no way you'd know about my fiancé's parents and their careers. Right now, my fiancé's parents happen to own a company that works in creating sweets that are produced in Belgium and are then sold in the U.S. and in Japan. So that means your fiancé will inherit the business one day? I believe so. That's why, although I've paid to have Dad and Aunt Vicky come out, my fiancé's parents went and handled all the other expenses, like the wedding and the hotels. They also felt bad about having to move the date for our wedding to a week earlier, so that's part of why they paid for everything regarding the wedding as well. But because they decided to do that for us, the wedding turned out even more gorgeous and fancy than we had originally planned. And it made for some amazing memories. I wish I could have had more guests there, because it was all so magical. What the hell? Now, we need to get to some of the more important stuff here. Since you might want to change sides now after learning about my fiancé and his family, I think this is where I cut ties to you. That'll be fine for you, though, right? Uh, cut ties to me? Well, considering that Dad will divorce you and kick you out of his house, I'm afraid you might try to come and live with me. I wouldn't want you to start trying to take my fiancé and his parents' money, because that might start to upset them as well. Wait, what's this about your dad divorcing me? What's going on here, Esther? I never heard anything about this. When you get back from Hawaii, I'm sure he'll talk with you about it. Has he not sent you anything at all yet, though? He had said he wanted to talk about something important, but I just assumed it was going to be about him going to another business trip or something. You really have no interest in anything other than Martha and yourself, then. 
Dad is no longer needing to go on any business trips or move out of state for years at a time anymore. What? He's moved higher up in the company now and is no longer asked to leave town for work. Is that right? And, well, Dad has been planning to divorce you now and sell the house. But we only just got around to renovating the second floor. In order to do that whole renovation, you used a lot of Dad's money without his permission, right? And that trip to Hawaii was also paid for with Dad's money. Really, you just take all of Dad's money and use it on whatever you and Martha want without asking him first. I think he's really grown tired of being like a bag of money to you and nothing else. Wait, Esther, if he ends up divorcing me and we lose the house, what's going to happen to Martha and I? <gasps> Martha doesn't have a job right now and I've always been a housewife to your dad. Well, it's time you start planning out what you both will do next. There's no way we can start doing that all from Hawaii. I'm sorry, but this is it for me. I'm cutting ties to the both of you now, so I won't ever talk to you or Martha again. And that also means I won't be helping you any. No way. So you're just going to throw away your mom and little sister now? <gasps> How am I throwing you both away? I just said I was cutting ties is all. That means you're pretty much throwing us away. Hey, Esther? You have done so well so far with just Martha being the center point of your life, right? That should mean as long as you stick with and care for her, everything will be just fine for you both. You never needed someone like me around, so I'm going to stop being your older daughter once and for all. Bye-bye now. After getting back home from Hawaii, my dad went and got the divorce and kicked both Martha and my mom out of his house. The only money that my mom got in the divorce, as part of the split properties, was all that money she had used from my dad without ever asking. My dad told my mom that her taking Martha and herself to Hawaii with his money was the last straw and what made him go for the divorce. Both Martha and my mom then went and tried asking my aunt and uncle for help after losing their home. However, everyone was already upset with those two for not coming to my wedding but were also aware of the horrible way they treated me all the time, and so they turned Martha and my mom away. As of right now, those two have found themselves a super cheap apartment to live in as they try and figure out what to do next.